What's up guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> really exciting video today. I just recently got a wig that I ordered from Bellamy Hair. I am going to do my first impressions with you guys and kind of give you my experience with my whole ordering process since there is quite an experience there. Before I open up the box and show you what wig I got, I just want to share with you guys the process of ordering this wig. Now, I did order this wig November 3rd, 2017, okay? I will give you guys today's date, even though this video is probably not going to go up for another week or maybe even two weeks. But it is February 16th, and I just received this box yesterday, which was February 15th. Can you believe that? So how much time is that? So literally three and a half months for me to get this wig. Now, the reason why it is an experience, when I ordered this wig online, I ordered this wig, I also ordered like a ponytail extension, and I also ordered like a straightener slash curling iron in one, okay? And I got the ponytail extension and the curling iron thing within maybe like two weeks or so. When I was online ordering, I guess in the fine print it said that it was on back order. Now I obviously did not see that fine print otherwise I don't think I would have ever even ordered this wig to begin with knowing that it was on back order. I actually ordered it because I wanted to wear this wig during the holiday season either for a Christmas party or my New Year's Eve party and that was the whole point of me ordering this wig. So. First time I reached out to them was November 20th, letting them know that I received the other products. I didn't receive the wig, so where's the wig? Why, why is it taking so long for me to get the wig, right? They responded and that's when they told me it was on back order. The next day they responded and said that it would be shipping in four to six weeks. So I was like, okay. My fault, I didn't see the fine print, whatever, four to six weeks, okay, I'll wait. I let over a month go by, so this was November 21st that they said four to six weeks, okay? December 27th, I sent them another email and said it has now been eight weeks and I still have not heard anything about the wig. Where the hell is my freaking wig? They responded the next day and said, that they're expecting the Layla wigs to come in mid-January. Okay, and so I was like kind of fired up. Like you said, four to six weeks, now it's not till mid-January. Like, what's going on? Like, come when on. I responded, I was trying to be, you know, polite, professional, but I was like super fired up. So the response to that was, well, we're sorry, but you can cancel the order and get refunded if you want. And I'm like thinking, wow, you're just going to really like turn a customer away. Like, okay, just cancel your order. We'll refund you. Like I obviously bought the wig because I wanted to wear it. I don't want to cancel my order. I'm just wondering like, why is it taking so long? Why are you saying four to six weeks? And then you say mid January, I ordered it the beginning of November, November 3rd, where now we're at like what, 12, 13, 14 weeks later. Like it's, it's kind of ridiculous. I really wanted the wig. That's why I ordered it. So I didn't even respond right then. That was December. December 28th and then we come into February 6th okay and I sent them another email and I'm like what is going on where is my wig it is now three and a half almost three and a half months later and I still haven't received anything I haven't even received an email like saying oh we're so sorry it's taking so long expect it in this time you know like just ghost like a ghost not telling me anything that was February 6th and I didn't even receive a response from them oh I received like the automated response like we'll get back to you in like three to five business days or whatever like their excuse you know and then I didn't hear anything and then Wednesday Valentine's Day the 14th is when I got a shipping confirmation and then it showed up at my door yesterday so here I am three and a half months later before this purchase I had purchased a different wig from Bellamy hair which was the Nikita dragon wig 
and that was maybe a couple weeks before then and I got that one on time and everything like that and I love the wig I wanted to get another wig because I wanted more of like a shorter hair wig because the Nikita Dragon is a very long wig and I do have a full video first impressions review on that so I will leave that link down below if you guys want to check that one out as well I wanted another wig so that's why I made that second purchase just kind of made like my whole experience with Bellamy hair just not good it just put a not good feeling like in my stomach about it. I was just kind of frustrated and like I am a really good paying customer to whatever company or brand that I am buying from. Like I am not afraid to spend money on things that I like or whatever. So I just felt like they kind of missed the mark on the customer service piece, especially when I was reaching out kind of like asking questions. You guys could have just acted like you cared a little bit more and actually appreciated the money that I'm spending on your products. That just kind of made the whole experience kind of bad for me. With all that said, I'm still super excited that I got the wig. I'm super excited to try it on. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even really know what it looks like, but I just had to share that experience with you guys. If you guys have ever ordered a wig from Bellamy Hair and kind of experienced the same thing, please let me know down below. I would love to hear your story and what happened to you. Let's get into this unboxing first impressions. Let's do it. Now, if you've seen my Nikita Dragon wig. It came in a box like this and then inside the box was another box, but we don't have that today. We just have this big old box with everything inside here. I'm going to just pull everything out and the wig that I did get is called the Layla wig. So first we get a wig cap. I do like the fact that every wig comes with like the little kit and you get all the little accessories with it. So I love that. You definitely are paying for your, or you're just getting a good value I think for the wig that you're buying because you get all the accessories that you need. Next we have the brush that it comes with. Oh my God, this one is missing a bristle too. What the heck? So when I got my Nikita Dragon wig, it was missing a bristle right here in the middle, the exact same spot. And this one's missing the same one too. So is that like a thing? We just, why is that bristle missing? I'm just like curious. I don't get that. <laughs> this is my second brush, so I have two of the same. That's cool. Like, I like brushes too, you know? That bristle, that's kind of weird. And somebody who commented on my last video said that they they were missing the exact same thing there so what's up with that bellamy what is going on i just want to know i'm just curious like why one bristle missing out of every single brush that you send out just curious next is the wig stand <laughs> I'm not gonna open this up and do the demo of this. I did that in my last video, so make sure you click the link down below and check it out if you wanna see how to put this thing together. And then it comes with this cute little bag, and the wig comes in this bag right here. Let's open this bad boy up. Comes in a net, so it keeps it all like cool. Oh, I'm gonna love this! I'm so freaking excited! Oh, I'm so excited. Sorry, guys. I have been with months. I've been waiting months. Since last year I've been waiting, right? Like, why would I have to say that? It's like, freaking lame. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, I just can't, look at it. Oh, I'm loving it, it's so soft. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. It's a, pff, I don't even know how, what they call it really, but it comes with a little net right here and then you can trim that off. Inside, it has two clips on the side right here. Inside, there's another clip this little band right there to go behind and then there's two other little bands that clip on to you know make it fit your head and stay in place oh but my first impression it's just so beautiful it feels so nice oh my god i'm gonna freaking die i am very very excited very very freaking excited about this. You guys have no freaking idea. Now I am going to get my wig cap on off camera. Get my head all ready to go to get this wig on. I'm going to trim that net and come back and try to get the wig on on camera so you can see the full experience of trying it on for the first time. I am back you guys. <laughs> I am laughing because I have changed my shirt and I have a different red lip on 
And that is because I am refilming this second half of the video. It's been about five hours since I thought I finished the video. What had happened was when I stopped filming to put the fishnet, the fishnet, when I stopped filming to put the hairnet on, I turned the microphone off for some odd freaking reason and then when I came back to start filming again I forgot to turn it off. I literally filmed the entire second half without sound and I was just gonna not even like do the video or upload it but then I was like no I have a little bit of time right now and I'm just gonna refilm this second half. So it was about five hours ago that I actually finished filming this. Throughout the day, I have changed. I change my lips sometimes, a few times throughout the day on my days off. Uh, because on my days off, I just film videos, I take selfies, and change my clothes often. And that's just what I do, so. I got my, fi why do I keep seeing fishnet? I have my hair net on. I just have my hair up in here. You know, nothing fancy. I don't have a braid or anything like that. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna take this little band right here and get this behind my head. And then I'm pulling the rest back, making sure the hairnet goes under. I don't even like mess with those clips that are in here because I don't even know how to do that yet. So I'm pretty amateur at putting a wig on, but here we are. So let's brush it out. Here is Layla. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are you loving it? Because I am living, breathing, and dying in this wig. It is just, it looks exactly how it looks online in the picture. Just have to deal with these little stragglers out here in front. But it looks, it's exactly what I wanted. It's a, I just can't even express to you like how much I am feeling this wig. It almost makes it okay that I had to deal with such shitty customer service and having to deal with the whole three and a half months of waiting to get it, it almost makes up for it of how much I really am living and loving this wig. It's just worth everything that I went through to get this wig, you guys just don't even understand. Now since I did wear this wig for about five hours earlier today, like I will just let you guys know that the wig is not like heavy by any means whatsoever, but after wearing it for multiple hours, you do start to feel the weight of the wig and you start to get to the point where you kind of just want to take it off. Knowing me, I would keep it on all day long and just deal with it but I do feel the weight of the wig after um, probably about four hours in I started like really being able to notice that I'm wearing a wig when I first put it on you can't really tell it's just you know it's there you don't feel the weight it doesn't like mess with anything but I feel it kind of like up here now um, but I think that's just you know what happens when you do choose to wear a wig you will start to feel the weight of the hair for for sure because I don't think I have this much hair or it's not as heavy I don't really know throughout the day like I washed dishes earlier like I was doing laundry like and just you know living my best life <laughs> I wish they had a black one of this wig because I would buy it like right now in a heartbeat I would buy it but they don't have a black one but I need a black wig like this if I would had to choose between this wig and my Nikita dragon wig I would definitely choose this one like I could get away with wearing this more so than my long blonde wig and it's just because I think it's just more hair I guess I don't know but I'm loving this wig this brush is perfect for it it's just everything that I wanted and I'm just so excited and happy that I finally have it by the way, the lip color that I'm wearing right now is ColourPop I Love Seta E in Ariba. I literally just got it in the mail today because I bought some ColourPop um, stuff, one of their new collections that they just launched, so look out for that video soon. I don't know if I told you guys in the first half of the video what the purple lipstick was, but that was Kylie Cosmetics Junebug. I think this is bringing us to the end of the video. 
How many of you are thinking about purchasing a wig soon? I say just do it. You can be anybody you want to be. But just go out and do it. Just do it. I'm telling you, no matter what wig you get, you will not regret it. I promise you guys that. This is my second expensive wig that I have ever purchased. I don't think it's going to be my last one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this first impression and demo try on of this Layla wig from Bellamy Hair, then please leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, and give me a big thumbs up. I forgot to say that. Thumbs up.